A teacher remembers. We remember our teachers, our mentors. Krishnaniti by Dr. Girish Chakotia is an interesting read during the month. Krishna has demonstrated different types of leaderships or leadership styles with varying degrees. His leadership styles basically fall in knowledge and action or devotion and action. He has shown charisma, venture, entrepreneurship, coordination and philosophy. He has shown emotional, spiritual, operational and intellectual leadership styles. He has also deployed various elements of leadership including action, direction, motivation, manipulation, coordination, confrontation, arbitration, creation, cultivation and neutralization. Its purposes include doing well, realizing the full potential and self-actualization. He demonstrated sharing leadership with submission and oneness as in the case of Radha, with affection as in the case of Yashoda, with inclusive delegation which is family and community leadership as in the case of Rukmini, extension as in the case of Kunti, and partnership as in the case of Draupadi alias Krishna. In all these cases, the shared ones are more primary than the sharer, which is Krishna. Krishna led various individuals differently, mentor to some, to lead others, submit to some, proactive and or reactive, individualistic and or community, local and or global, autocratic, manipulative, transformational, strategic. The qualities demonstrated include courage, joyfulness, oratory, bravery, forgiveness, service, rationality, knowledge, loyalty, shrewdness. Essentially, his leadership demonstrates the leadership of love. Love for everybody, purposefully, with full knowledge and intelligence, with vision or roadmaps, with micro to macro detailing skills, with humility, with hope, faith and promise driving the leadership engine. As a leader, Krishna has demonstrated a wealth creation approach, which is high visibility of wealth, very high collective efforts for wealth maximization, reasonable enjoyment of wealth, very high trusteeship of wealth, good plan for sustenance of wealth, very high management and sharing of wealth. It is important to love all and get love from all. That is the only language of heart, the caste of humanity, religion of love, omnipresent universe. Attached detachment and detached attachment at the same time. Oneness with universe, every life flowing in the love, dhara like radha. Total surrender, total capture. Merge to monopolize, love multiplies, love lives on, provided we keep smiling, never saying no to bliss, we keep fighting the wicked, we take life as it comes and remain natural. Life becomes similar, schedules become similar, hobbies become similar. It is not easy to differentiate the two. It is less formal, more accessible. Coactivism does not require expression in clear words. The two know each other's thoughts without expression. Perpetual and purposeful partnership drop losing identity totally and becoming the ocean itself. This translates as love the universe and all life first, community second, individual third. Balance is achieved thus through pursuing equity. It is inclusive, not exclusive. 
equilibrium of biological time operational time and social time is critical love with discipline and equilibrium is the key no hatred attempt to be a yogi assess relationships with neutrality fulfill their expectations with love convert the fulfillment feeling into love and extend it perpetually add new and better dimensions and explore further avenues of love establish that love extends love this is the circle of connectivity of love krishna is demonstrating krishna niti confirms the core of us the leadership of love the love of leading the leaders to love all life purposefully deliberately perpetually therefore let us love let us lead let us love and lead let us lead and love let us smile let us take sides let us live the life as it comes let us be radha let us be arjuna let us be krishna krishna sakhi let us be one one with universe let us be simple one with nature let us be let us have ananda the bliss let us be deliberately useful let us be perpetually useful let us live this is radha dara yoga this is life in flow this is flowing love into life this life love and leadership flowing together this is dwaraka yogam can we be there yes if we pursue atma yoga if we love life all life if we lead all to love all life if we flow in the flow of love if we lead the flow of love if we lead the leaders of flows of love if we are purposefully deliberately useful if we and inner us merge and achieve oneness if we keep flowing if we nudge one another along in the flows of detached attachment if we practice attachment with detachment if we practice surrender if we just love lead and flow krishna confirms that flowing beings are with krishna himself join us in the world of yoga for life towards krishna krishna yoga siddhi you will not regret it